HRM 321, Managing Organisational Change, presented by Lloyd Steer, having creative and strategic thinking for the identification and development of new business opportunities. Sophie Willems, covering specific knowledge and skills of managing people in the discipline of human resource management. Daniel Benn, covering corporate social responsibilities and sustainability. And lastly, Jared Little covering the ethical and moral dilemmas of Skippy class. Qantas have always had a competitive advantage when it comes to innovations and continue to be first in keeping up with, ex with modern consumer experience expectations. Here is a list of Qantas's innovative past from the creation of onboard Wi-Fi all the way down to Jetstar. So how can we help Qantas use creative and strategic thinking for the identification and development of new business opportunities? As a group, we have come up with Skippy Class. The main aims of the idea are to separate children from adults in order to keep the other cabins more quiet, as many adults complain about crying children and loud kids. Ultimately, childrenless flights will draw in more adult consumers as they can get seats in a quiet cabin at an affordable rate. As well as this, families will be offered cheap flights to encourage participation. Organisational goals. In order to see if Qantas will take Skippy Class on board, we must first ask if it fits in with their organisational goals. Other than the overarching goal to achieve maintainable earnings per share and in turn deliver max shareholder returns, Qantas have built a reputation for excellence in safety, operational reliability, engineering, maintenance and customer service. Focusing in on the element of customer service, Skippy Class will fit in with the element of Qantas's goals as it will ultimately lead to an increase in customer happiness due to quieter flights and more comfortable sleeping. Strategies to cope with this highly anticipated and significant change within The first step is to motivate change and create readiness for change within The second step is to create Step 3 involves the Step 4 is managing Step 5 involves sustaining so for us to integrate this idea Skippy class, we must look at the issues it creates from a corporate perspective as well as the issues of sustainability. There are a few areas that arise when trying to incorporate a new cabin area dedicated only to families and young children travelling with Qantas. But in saying this, this is a great business proposal for all of Qantas to encourage change and innovation within our scope and ultimately improve business operations and achieve financial rewards. So we've always acted in order to protect and improve the welfare of society along with our own interests. We've always engaged in a long and progressive role within the community, our customers and stakeholders in which we've cultivated the iconic Australian brand. But as the issue of sustainability rises and corporate responsibility is utmost important to associate, integrating a new cabin class will create more concerns for Qantas. So some of the issues on a social level that Qantas will encounter is one, a negative view from society. This is in terms of people might find this as a type of segregation or separation from other passengers. People might view this as special treatment because we are segmenting these customers to their own seats or people might view this as a way to remove irritating flies like noisy children or newborns. Thus this could create unneeded media attention which not every person can be satisfied. But in saying this, we view this as more of a positive than a negative because we allow passengers to have the separation and complain about noise. This strategy will allow parents to ensure that their kids and partners are always together when reserving seating, which is an issue on many flights globally, and helping kids keep entertained and noise levels down. So further issues arise that align with today's resource constraints and climate change, which is a continuous effort for us, the Qantas board, to overcome. The Skippy class will ultimately increase the amount of fuel carbon that is let off during flight. This is due to extra seating needing to introduce, which means constructing larger and heavier aircraft. 
Therefore, fuel, carbon, emissions, electricity usage, water consumption and waste of landfill become more of a concern. Thus, resource constraints will create issues of increased expenditure on flights and development, which in turn will most likely increase the amount of fly for families and children, as this could be as expensive or more than economy or business class seatings. Furthermore, we have legal and ethical issues we must consider with safety of passengers' employees being at the forefront. With increased passenger seatings and integrating another cabin class, this will cause for expanded needs of employees and parents and guardians to understand our safety procedures and measures. Additionally, it will increase the ethical responsibilities towards the environment and occupational work health and safety requirements of our staff. So nevertheless, to address corporate and sustainability issues, we have come up with three recommendations that will align with Qantas business visions and goals. So, the first recommendation is to align with the Asian market. Now this is a goal that we're already trying to achieve, but to develop the Skippy class will create superior customer demand. This is because the customer demand, economic and population growth within the Asian market is growing rapidly and for us to align with the Skippy class with this growth has numerous economic opportunities. Therefore, this will ultimately create hundreds of jobs internally and externally. And so the second strategy is for us to continually develop and combine the core environment initiatives into a single flagship program. This will allow to reduce costs, risks and wastes, especially with a bigger and heavier aircraft. Thus, the strategy is to integrate new technologies for fuel optimization, work with ICAO and IATA to regulate airline emissions, and finally to continually invest in new aircraft technology, explore turtle fuels, and integrate ideas and concepts with Boeing to create suitable aircrafts. Lastly, our mission is to support local and family suppliers. As Australia's largest airline, we have supported and integrated our native Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders into the workforce and beyond. For this strategy, we believe we can integrate and support small business suppliers that can be unified into new Skippy class. This is business such as Carmen to supply muesli, porridge, oats, muesli bars and much more. Also whole kids who supply organic food snacks for kids and who also campaign heavily to their sustainability impact. These are some of the great companies in which have high potential to be partners and integrate into the new Skippy class. In this part of our presentation, we will be exploring the ethical and moral dilemmas that Skippy class brings. We'll be looking at the effects it may have on our passengers, our staff and Qantas, and the relevant theories we'll be applying are utilitarianism, John Rawls's theory of justice, and finally, the deontic justice theory. Throughout this section, we will also be giving recommendations on how we can ensure that Skippy class is and will be an ethically upstanding initiative. What effects can we expect Skippy class will have on our stakeholders? Well, let's start with the staff. The concentration of families in one area will make boarding and deboarding of the plane much easier with regards to the prams, extra bags for baby care products and other paraphernalia parents bring for their journey. Another benefit of the concentrations of families is that staff will be able to solve similar child and family related problems in a shorter time frame, which will make their jobs much easier. Skippy class will also make for quieter flights for most passengers and will carry with it the easier boarding and deboarding which comes from the concentration of families into one area. The effects that Skippy class will have on the staff will also make them happier which makes for a more pleasant flight for our passengers. Finally, the effects Skippy class will have on Qantas are that the higher staff satisfaction, which also increases customer satisfaction further, will lead to larger profits for Qantas. These increased profits will then increase our shareholder value, which is one of our highest priorities. Utilitarianism, according to Tarnsjo, consists of acts which create the most happiness for the most people. This is a breakdown of the aspects of Skippy class which can fall under utilitarianism or non-utilitarianism. As mentioned previously, the staff will be happier due to the increased ease in their duties. This, along with our quieter flights, will make our passengers happier and attract more customers to our airline. 
This will increase our profits and therefore our shareholder value, which makes our shareholders happy. Finally, the happiness of our shareholders will make our executives happy. While there are many aspects of Skippy class which are utilitarian in nature, there are some, not many, which are not. The first is that grouping kids together may make children behave worse due to peer pressure, which may make passengers in the cabin unhappy. Secondly, it may make staff dread having to cover Skippy class for their shift, thus making them unhappy. However, Skippy class may also allow parents more leeway in terms of disciplining their children and keeping them in check. So overall, Skippy class will make a lot of people happier and according to utilitarianism, is therefore a good initiative. With that in mind, if we were to implement this initiative, one of the most important questions is, should Skippy class be mandatory for families with children under a certain age? For this question, we turn to John Rawls and his theory of justice. If we were to make Skippy class mandatory, we may make a family who has well-behaved children sit in a cabin filled with unruly children, thus making their flight less enjoyable for the sake of the other passenger's happiness. According to Rawls, happiness taken from one person cannot be made up for by happiness given to another. We cannot take away a family's happiness on the off chance that they would have badly behaved children, and unfortunately we cannot predict which children will misbehave, and Skippy class must therefore be optional for families. This leaves us with the conundrum. Skippy class cannot be mandatory, and yet we need as many families as possible to use it so that we may reap the benefits that Skippy class will bring. To help solve this issue, we may turn to the deontic justice theory. This theory holds that a person will uphold ethical values due to a moral obligation alone. With this in mind, we have to try and generate a culture where passengers with unruly children feel it is their duty to go to Skippy class so that other passengers may have a more pleasant flight. We can start this by giving discounts to families who use Skippy Class and advertising the benefits that Skippy Class will have for both passengers and staff. And once Skippy Class has become the norm for these families, we can take away the discounts and families will still use Skippy Class due to the newfound ethical standards that we helped to create.